What's up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So in this video I'm going to show you an excerpt from the lesson on how to play Tin Pan Alley by Steve Ray Vaughan. The full lesson is available at GuitarForce.com. You can find the link in the description box down below. And with the full lesson you're going to be getting the video lesson, the full playthrough of the song, all of the tabs in PDF format and two backing tracks, one with vocals and one without, so you can jam to it. And I'm going to also post a link in the description box down below to the uh, full playthrough sort of cover of the song uh, that I did, which is going to be on my other channel. So if you're interested, check it out. Also talking about Steve Ray Vaughan, I'm still in the process of um, uh, recording the, uh, the course on Steve Ray Vaughan's uh, style of playing, which is going to be similar to the one that I did on Jimi Hendrix, which is called Get Experienced. I'm having some technical issues, but, um, otherwise the uh, course would have been out earlier, but uh, keep checking back on the channel and also uh, on the site. When it's out, you will find the links in the, descrip in the description box down below and also I'm going to make a separate video. Uh, now back to this video, so um, we're going to be in standard tuning, this song is, was uh, played in standard tuning and for the sound I was using um, two presets uh, mixed together, so two different amps and I'm going to show you the pictures of the presets right now and while you're checking out the pictures of the presets I'm going to play you my low E which is going to be E standard uh, so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so as usual we're going to break up the song into parts. We're going to start off with the first part which is the solo and we have the typical 12 bar blues here in the key of uh, B minor. So we have B minor, E minor or E minor 7 and then for the turn around the third chord is going to be F sharp but uh, Steve is playing it as a uh, dominant 7 or dominant 7 sharp 9 like that and it's just a typical 12 bar blues, uh, minor blues in the key of B minor. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to break up the, uh, the solo and also the rest of the song into licks and phrases. It's, it's played in a, a kind of separate um, licks and phrases anyway, but uh, some of the licks and phrases are a little bit longer so we're going to break them up also into some of the parts and I'm going to be playing them slowly so you can see and hear what's going on. I'm not going to be calling out every string and every fret. You can see that in the tablature on screen and also in the PDF um, file. So I'm just going to be playing uh, the uh, licks slowly and where it's needed I'm going to make a comment. So let's start with the first lick which goes like this. All right, so here starts off. Um, by the way, the the scale that we're going to be using is mostly the uh, B minor scale, pentatonic, and of course the blues scale as well. So predominantly playing in the first position of uh, the B minor. So the first lick starts off with a gradual bend on the G string, and then we go to the B string, high E. Then we have this triad of the B minor chord, adding some vibrato with the tremolo arm, and then we have... So here we have a grace note, and by the way, if you catch sometimes some of the other strings, like in this instance, for example, we are playing on the G string, the main notes, but if you get in the, the B string, that's totally fine. And then we have the trill in the end. So that's the first phrase, one more time. All 
right, then we go to the next phrase, which goes like this. Alright, so one more time, a little bit slower, so you can hear all of the notes, goes like this. So we have here, when we play the first part, here we have the grace note and uh, goes into gradual bend and then we go to the uh, seventh fret here, also with a slight bend, adding some vibrato on this note and then we have, so going down the blues scale. going to trill again on the D string and actually we stay on this trill until the end of the bar and then for the last beat of the bar we have again just picking the string so we pick the string again while trilling and then we have so here what we have is a reverse rake so the strings are muted and our target target note is the 9th fret here on the A string. So we have that, uh, that trick that we do. Then we have a grace note. And then we have the double stop on the B and the G strings. So... Like that in the end of the phrase. So one more time, the whole phrase is slowly going to go like this. Next phrase goes like this. Alright, one more time. So we have the double stop in the beginning from the previous uh, phrase. We stay on this double stop for the whole beat. And then we go. So here we go into the E minor chord. One more time, the whole phrase slowly goes like this. And then we continue. So we play the E minor chord. And then we have... So here... part and we let the uh, notes ring out. So from the E minor all right after that we go um, so we played here the E minor in uh, the first position and then we shift up to the uh, one octave higher and we have uh, the uh, following phrase which goes like this Okay, so here the first part that we have, um, it's um, combining the two strings. So what we do here, we start off with, uh, with this note, 14 on a D string. And then we go into this um, hybrid picking where we pick the G and the high E strings uh, simultaneously at the same time. And um, the high E string stays the same, it's on the 12th fret, uh, but we pick it every time when we change the notes on the G string. So on the G string we have so it's basically here we have a grace note to the 15th fret and then pull off and then we go back to the 14th fret and we have again so again grace note pull off pull off and then we go to the uh, D string playing two times here. So we have like that, but at the same time, when we play the G string, 
we pick the high E as well. So we have like that. And then we have um, uh, going into the next phrase, which is now going to the B minor chord. So we have So this part is played a little bit faster, so uh, just uh, to play it slowly so you can hear what's going on and see it goes like this. So basically again, just going to the B minor pentatonic. Then we go into the next phrase, which goes like this. Alright, so here just one note. Uh, we start off with the rake, so we mute the strings and these strings, and we have the uh, slide from around 10 fret into the 12 on the B string. And we add some vibrato. So we stay on these notes for the whole bar. And then we go into the next lick, which goes like this. Alright, so here we have, um, as we stay on these notes from uh, the uh, slide, we then go into, into this first part of the lick. So here we have a grace note slide into the 13th fret here. Then we have, and then we continue with the faster part. So here, picking high E, go into the B string, pull off, and then slide. And then picking, as you get to the 7th fret here, you pick the high E, B string, and then we continue with the... So here on the G string, uh, doing slide pull off again, go into the D, and uh, this is the uh, blue scale, slide bend, hammer on, adding some vibrato, and then we have this first pull off, so B string, then you go to the G, and again if you uh, catch the B string that's totally fine, and then we have, so here, it's a, a little accent if you, and if you get the muted strings in there, that's totally fine. And then we go down just the uh, uh, the blues scale, it's kind of like a fall, fall down or whatever it's called. You know, the pull off, you don't have to pick like that, just a quick uh, pull offs here, like that. So one more time, the whole phrase slowly is going to go like this. to the next phrase goes like this okay so here again we do the same thing with the hybrid picking as we did here but uh, of course it's gonna go a little bit differently so again starting off with the D string and then we go so that's the first part then we have a little rest and then it's a little bit uh, faster, goes again. Okay, so... Alright, so after we've played the hybrid picking here, the four notes, then we have... some vibrato and then again just to uh, finish off the phrase going down the blue scale um, then we continue with uh, just outlining the chord here and then we have so we have on the A string the first note 
7th fret here. Go into the D string. And then we have. So it's a quick slide into the 9th fret. And then we pick the, uh, the B minor chord just apart, the double stop. And then to cut it off, uh, higher strings on the same fret. And then for the turn around, we have. So typical uh, kind of uh, finishing, finishing off the uh, phrase with just going down chromatically, or uh, you can view it as a blues scale, and then playing the F sharp seventh chord to finish off the uh, first twelve bars. Bars. So one more time from the previous uh, phrase all together. I'm gonna go like this slowly. Alright guys, so that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to continue learning the whole song, check out the link in the description box down below. Comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.